it. Let's do it. Let's go. It's episode three. Welcome. Welcome. It's topic. I can't we're on episode three already. I know. Topicopedia episode three. I'm Steve. I'm Nicole. It's nice to have you here. And, and whatever your name is at home, thank you for giving up the time to have a listen to us yeah. waffling crap, which is mostly what we do. But we enjoy it, so that's all that matters, isn't it? We do, we do. We've had lots of lovely feedback again, but I didn't write it down this week um, because it was a lot of the same, but I literally had some feedback about half an hour ago um, from someone who has listened to episode one for the first time and they had lovely, lovely things to say about it and it was all in a voice note, so <laughs> I can't just pop back and read it for you, but it was really nice. Oh, you so need to send me the voice sorry. notes so I can play the voice notes. I don't think he wants that. Oh. <laughs> Gutted. It's it's always good when you when you actually get people on. Yeah, but his name's Robin. He's lovely, and uh, yeah. So there you go. He's had a little shout out on episode three. I'm sure he'll be delighted. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to know that we've got good feedback. I'm all up for good feedback. Yes, absolutely. It's nice to know you're doing something right. <laughs> yes. Um, right. So where are we up to this week? Oh, yes. Are you still using what's crap? Um, yes. Yeah, so do I. Um, But I'm not a fan of it. Okay, tell me about this. Because you're the first person I've heard sort of talk about it in a negative way, so. I think that WhatsApp has had its day. And it's time for something else that's probably not owned by Zuckerberg. Fair, yeah. (laughs) Because I'm I'm not a big Zuck Zuck fan. I never would have guessed. No, and... (laughs) Basically, like, I'm only on WhatsApp just because most of the people I know are on it. Yeah, and that's where it's got you, really, isn't it? Because there are other uh, messaging apps out there, like Telegram. I have I have it, but never used it. Oh, I've got Telegram. I don't, I don't mind Telegram. I've never used it. I don't know. I don't need it. I've got WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah, as my as my son calls it, what's crap? He doesn't like it whatsoever. Well, um... So how old is your son now? He is, uh, <laughs> I believe he's going to be 15 this year. Jesus Christ, that's gone by a bit quick, hasn't it? That's scary. It has. <laughs> he's taller than me and yeah, he's, yeah, it's crazy. So he's in year nine. Yeah. That, I think, oh my you know God. what? I sort to keep track of this. As you get older, just dates seem to just be like, you just can't believe how many years ago things are and whatnot. It's scary. It is terrifying. I mean, we're not that old. I'm just putting this out there now. We're not that old. You weren't particularly old when you had your son. I'm just saying this now. <laughs> well, true, true. We'll go with that. Um, we'll definitely go with that because we're not old. I, I, I actually really get quite annoyed that um, there's this stigma around people in our age bracket being old because we're not. <laughs> we're still young. And and the doctors tell me all the time, you're young, you're healthy, yada, yada. And I'm like, yes, you carry on with that narrative i like it yes so- just keep going with that forever yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um, so i mean my, what are some of my issues with whatsapp are that for some reason it quite often just loses people's names and they just end up with a number even though they're saved in my phone it just doesn't synchronize properly i've never had that issue ever uh, well just me then just you yeah i've never heard of that um, no, I quite like WhatsApp. I mean, funnily enough, it was actually my mum who, way back in the day, persuaded me to get it. And I was like, I don't want to get WhatsApp. You can just text me. Like, what? why on earth would I want WhatsApp? And now, weirdly, I never get texts and I do everything through WhatsApp. Um, and I love it. See, you know, what I've can... started using more as, I mean, so my son uses Telegram. And then also we do tend to use now, kind of going back to the text thing, the actual... Uh, you know, the messaging app on Android is now basically like the same as what Apple have done. And you can send pictures and stuff through that rather okay. than send it as a text. Okay. So I use, I tend to use that now and a bit of Telegram. And then I've got some people who are just on Facebook Messenger. Oh, it's confusing. Why, too many Messenger apps. I agree with that. See, I hardly use Messenger at all. I don't like Facebook. I literally only use Messenger. 
um, pretty much for one person, one of my friends. And to be fair, I'm not even actually that sure why we use it because he does have WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think he talks to like quite a lot of people on Messenger. And so it's just easier for him. I mean, it's fine by me, but I quite often forget to check it, even when there's a notification there, because it's not one that I use all the time. Yeah, I, I mean, forget go on. That's the thing, isn't it? How how with some people you have like four or five ways of messaging them, and then you always just go to a particular route each time. Yeah, it's it's almost it becomes muscle memory, doesn't it? I think, and you just you just get used to it, I suppose. Yeah. So, but but why why does your son think it's like rubbish like Cause, why why because I feel like this might be a generational thing where you know he just feels like all the boomers are using it. I think I think it is. I think that's largely it. And (laughs) (laughs) no, and also um, just the 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 general consensus about Zuckerberg. I understand that. He's he's not. I mean, he's not really hitting off with the kids. No, I mean he's had his day, hasn't he? Let's be honest. Um, And now, I don't think any of Facebook products are anything to do with the people using it. It's just about products for trying to improve the share price. Yeah, yeah I'm out of my depth with that one big time. <laughs> it's become, yeah, it's become mon- right. Everything's money, 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 money. Yeah, money orientated. It's yeah, not about the customers. Makes, yeah, it makes absolute sense. Um, yeah, I completely agree. Um, but yeah, am I going to stop using WhatsApp anytime soon? Probably not. I, like I said, I do have Telegram. I just don't use it. I, I downloaded it. I see that a bunch of people I know use it, but as many people as use WhatsApp, no, not really. Um, and, you know, I've got, like, all my family on WhatsApp. What I don't do is give out WhatsApp, sort of... Um, I don't give out my phone number very easily. You see, the um, pro- that's the problem with WhatsApp as well. It discloses your phone number. Yes. I, I wish that it was sort of more like Snapchat or something where it was a username. That would be so much better. Um yeah, but then you have Snapchat, and I do use that very regularly as well. No, that's something I can't really get into. Can you not? I... No, I just... It's just weird, isn't it? Why, why constantly messing about with photos and filters and... You don't, well, this is it, but it, I mean, that's that's what it started out as. And I mean, I don't that often send photos and things on there now. It's mostly I just use the, the messaging service on there, so... Yeah, it's not the first thing you think you're going to when you're going to use a messaging service, though, to be no, fair. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, yeah, I only use it for, like, a handful of people. But what... No, no, sorry, now my brain's not working. <laughs> it's not connected to my mouth. Um, but Snapchat is, like, the one, or Instagram, maybe, that I'll give out to people that I don't really know too well. Um, it certainly wouldn't be WhatsApp. Like, WhatsApp, you, you've got to earn your place in WhatsApp. <laughs> To be fair, though, I think I think my go-to there would be Facebook, just so I can snoop around the profile. See, a lot of people don't use Facebook, and a lot of people have taken themselves... I mean, I used to always say it's really shifty if you meet someone online and they don't have Facebook. Yeah. Really shifty. Something wrong about that. But now I am starting to accept that Facebook's shit and... A lot of people don't want any part in it, and that's actually kind of fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, so. yeah, definitely getting to that point. And yeah, the, yeah, I, I just dislike all Facebook's products. I'm sorry, Zuck. I'm just not a Zuck fan. I use no. them because I have to, not because I want to. Yeah, exactly. And anyone who knows me knows that on Facebook, I am in Facebook jail. Oh yes. On, I'm when I go in there, I'm in there for thirty days every time every time and you low-key have now a separate account so that when you're in jail on your main one you can still sort of have a bit of presence <laughs> yeah but i think i think he knows about that one as well because it just that one starts no. misbehaving at the same time yeah it's ridiculous oh it's like brothers yeah. watching you it is it's very much become that now hasn't it yeah yeah it's not what it was I, said, I thought I think I'm when I wrote these notes down I must have had some other ideas on what to say about what's crap and I know full well that tomorrow morning when I'm in the shower I'll have thought <laughs> oh I meant to say this I meant to say that I should have put that in I should have put that in um and instead we've waffled a load of dross well that's completely fine that's what we do but um <laughs> I mean yeah we can always we can always touch on it again I'm sure at some point if if you come back with those thoughts yeah, yeah, I just need to start noting them down. 
You should. I wish I was doing notes actually, because yeah, it, it would make life a lot easier. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm trying to remember what order we did things in last week because we should now. Is it? Is it now the meme of the week? Possibly. I did, can't remember, but have, I think we should do meme of the week because I've got a good meme. Have we got? <laughs> have we got a winning meme from last we week? We do. Let me just double check because. Yours won by one vote. Oh, that's close. You won. So let's just insert a... a... Hey! Hey! We win. Give ourselves um, a clap. It was very, very, very um, close. <laughs> Literally neck and neck all the way through. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, well done, sir. Well, well, well memed. <laughs> and this this week's entry from me... I'm going to kind of hint at a subject we might talk about in a future week on the show, oh, which is, exciting. yeah. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to let you do yours first because I went first last week. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, mine is a Star Trek one. I don't watch Star Trek and I don't know their names. So I'm just, we're just it doesn't matter who they are. Okay. Frankly. So we've got one bloke talking to another bloke and he says, when I was a child, I used to enjoy making sandcastles with my grandfather. And the other bloke says, that sounds really nice. And he says, yeah, until my mum made me put the urn back on the mantle. No oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Do oh you dear. not like that? Oh my God, I, I nearly fell off the chair off. I, you know what? I think I'd probably find that funnier if I was actually, you know what you need to do? You need to send it me. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Because I've just realised that I'm not actually looking at it and I'm not very good without the visualisation of it. I know what you mean. Yeah. It is difficult to portray a meme, you know, or or audibly. Yeah. Or do you, yeah. But you know what? I'm, I'm you know what? I I'll, I'll vote for yours anyway. Oh, thank you. Just That's because I'm nice sporting. like that. And I know that mine might not be as good, but I've already hinted it might be down to 90s nostalgia. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send it you. Okay. So, it's someone at 843 googling how to destroy a Nokia <laughs> mobile phone. And then it's uh, what they've Googled at 8.47. How to fix a hammer. That's br- I've seen this one and I really like it, yeah. And, do you know, I'm going to vote for yours just purely because 90s nostalgia is everything. Yes. <laughs> so that's a clue as to what we might be talking about next week if anyone wants to get in early with their feedback and anything they want to contribute to the show that we might unknowingly forget or forget to put in or anything yeah anything to do with 90s nostalgia which definitely seems to be very much a thing at the moment so, so yeah yeah and you know what i'm gonna save it for next week i was gonna ask you what nokia you had but i suppose you could do a little tease um i i had the indestructible one and um what? i had the one after so it was at the 3310 and then i had the 3330 uh i had a 3210 Maybe I meant 3210. 3210 was, no, it was bigger. The 3310 was smaller, weren't it? And a bit later. I don't remember. I don't think the 3210 had polyphonic ringtones, but I think the 3310 did. Yeah, I think you might be right. I, I had definitely, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit sad that I remembered that. That's a, see, yeah, good memory because I can't remember. It wasn't my first phone though, my first phone. It wasn't was, my first one, but I can't remember what it was. It was some oh, mine brick. was like a Motorola. It was like a stick phone, and it was. I I just remember staying at my friend Tamsin's house when we had our sleepovers, and she had no signal in her house anywhere except if you stood your phone up on the windowsill in a very particular position, you'd get one tiny bar of signal, Wait. and that's where we, we used to just hang out by the window to send text messages to all the boys. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> oh dear. You could, that's where you could have done with your WhatsApp. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, God, that would have been a game changer back then, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, good old MSM Messenger. <laughs> so, I mean, we asked last week um, what uh, our listeners would like to us to talk about. And we have had... <laughs> Uh, a well, not a suggestion, and in, she insisted that we talk about pigeons. Um, so this is Holly who has um 
who has asked us to talk about pigeons. She said they're the bane of her life. So as she's walking to work, walking in a, in a rush, she's, she's walking fast and a pigeon will just casually stroll out in front of her, getting right in the way. Well, she's not gonna slow down for this pigeon. And then the pigeon starts like proper on a mission, like, like you're trying to murder it, like running away, but it's still going too slow but it's too fast for you to overtake. And she said, it's just the bane of her life. She can't bloody bear pigeons. Can't bear them. They, they <laughs> you know what? Like, when you're walking around, I mean, it's typically town centres and things, isn't it? Where they're causing the issue. Yeah. And, you know, they're like rats, but they're not as afraid as rats. Rats tend to be, get out your way. Yeah, that's true. But they just like, they just, they're like, oh no, I want this crumb that's on the floor. And, I'm just going to go and get it, whether you like it or not. Yeah, they're very, very sort of desensitised to humans. I mean, if you go sort of, I know definitely somewhere like Greenwich Park in London, um, but I've managed to do it in my local park before. Whereas if you go down with a with, you know, bag of bird seed and hold your hand out, they will come and sit on you. They're not frightened at all. Um, and oh, it's like in uh, Home Alone with the pigeon woman. Yeah, I've done that. You've done that? I've done that. You've been I've the been cra- pigeon crazy woman. pigeon lady. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's kind of fun, kind of gross. <laughs> well, I go down the gross avenue because they are just... Oh, they're disgusting. They are vermin at the end of the day. They are. And what gets me is just the fact that people feed them. Yeah, I can't help don't it. Don't feed them. I'm don't feed touch. them. Don't, no, leave your, don't leave your KFC crap all over the car park because you're just going right. to attract them. No, I appreciate that. But no, I, I I quite like to take a bit of bread or some seed down to the park and feed, feed the birds. I enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, you also get seagulls as well that are... Oh, my God. They're actually horrifying. protected seagulls. You, you cannot they? legally kill a seagull. Yeah. Um, I mean, seagull apparently... Seating. Right, apparently seagulls. They, it seems like we have a lot of seagulls because on on land like especially in like the coastal areas there seems to be so many of them but apparently actually kind of i don't want to say endangered but they are protected because there's actually less of them than there ought to be um well that's so, yeah, something new that i've learned today because actually they really should be out at sea or something i don't know i don't really i can't explain this very well i'm not very articulate today um but yeah so seagulls are protected you're not allowed to hurt them on purpose um but my god they're horrible i freaking hate i mean i live in a coastal city and oh i mean it's it's things like if you put your rubbish out in the wheelie bin and it's the bin's quite full and the lid doesn't quite oh, shut yeah, yeah. fully the seagulls will be in there and it'll be all over your street and that's your responsibility to clean up and it's like oh my god things like that yeah, when they get in. I mean, I have you seen um, that guy on TikTok that feeds the seagull? No, but I hate him already. All right. It's quite <laughs> funny, though, because he's been trying to domesticate this wild seagull. Okay. And he's done stuff. I mean, so he's got like kind of like a bay window. Um, he must like live in an upstairs flat or something. Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll send you the link later. But he's basically every day fed this seagull. Because uh, he's got these big windows that open kind of like outwards, but like, so it's like horizontal. Yeah. And so he's been feeding this seagull and gained its trust. And then he's built like a shelf for it and whatnot. So it can come in and like, you know, try and entice it into the, the his flat. Oh my God. Yeah, it's very bizarre. I'll send you the link and you can watch and whatnot. Um, uh, but yeah. Yeah, we'll do. I'll share it to um, Instagram. Yeah, well, and he's he's called the seagull uh, Stephen. Uh, of course, yeah. Okay, S- Stephen Seagull. Really original. Steven, yeah. yeah, yeah. That sorry, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it's entertaining for the first sixty days or something, and then after that, it took gets a bit samey, really. So. This has been going on for quite some time and you've been following this. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, you, yeah, definitely you, share it with me so I can have a look. Yeah, you've got plenty to catch up on. Yes. Oh, God. I don't think I'll be watching all of it. I'm not going to lie to you. But... Yeah, you're not going to go through them all? No. You should all do. Of them. Well, how many are there? 
I don't know. It depends what day it is, doesn't it? He's been doing like one a day. For, for how long? I, I don't know. Six months or something, probably now. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not watching all of them. <laughs> 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 thanks but no thanks no I'll, I'll watch like the first couple and then some in the middle and then some recent ones there we go how's that yes okay we'll do have, this. <laughs> have a look through and then we can we can always revisit the um pigeon slash seagull category again absolutely absolutely because uh, i mean she's asked us to discuss it but um... there's not a lot you can really say they are okay. they are vermin they are annoying um yeah, but it, it just makes me think of seagulls, which are just infinitely worse. I mean, you can't buy a pasty and not have to guard it with your It's life. like you see uh, the videos knocking about where they think nothing like strolling into a Greg's and picking up a bag of crisps and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, although just whip it straight out of your hand as you're eating it in the street. You have yeah. to be so careful. It is They are horrible, vicious things. So They absolutely love it, don't they? Mm. Anyway, sh- should we continue our rant? Let's do it. Right, this topic. I just wanted to get it in there at some point because I think everyone has on one of, at least one of their social medias someone who is trying to flog them crap. Oh, yes. So I'm talking MLMs here. Oh, yes. I'm talking your Herbalife, your Juice Plus, Yeah. your... I mean, Avon's one of the originals, isn't it? Yes. Um, and the body shop and whatnot. But, I mean, yeah. is anyone making an actual decent living out of selling stuff as an MLM? Well, that's how they work, isn't it? Isn't uh, it uh, and about... how many friends left? Oh, God, it, just, it, does, it does drive you mad. Now, I... I have to admit that pretty much everyone I know has in the last couple of years tried body shop. I think pandemic sort of may have had a bit of an impact on, you know, people wanting to make money from home. And I get it to some extent, but they spam the shit out of you. And it's, yeah, it's don't, don't spam people by all means, make people aware, make posts about it. But what I don't really appreciate is my inbox being, just you know it's not even hi how are you how you doing you know you know people i've been friends with for years they'll just randomly send me a price list and it's like hmm. yeah i mean you, you could have at least um, uh, i mean is uh, no it's not actually any better the fact that your friends are trying to sell stuff to you in the first place just because they're going to get a little tiny bit of money off it i think what a lot of people don't realize is that actually the 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 people on the bottom rung of that ladder don't really get anything. They, they make peanuts, if that. And a lot of people end up out of pocket in these schemes. And, you know, it's all about how many people you can recruit to work underneath you. And that's how you succeed at MLMs and not how many sales you make. Um, so I know somebody who did, uh, or I knew somebody, I don't anymore, who worked for Ann Summers. And they do similar things like with parties. It's very similar. Yeah. And she started off at the bottom and she worked her way all the way up as, as high as you can go. And I think, I believe she earned herself a diamond pin. This was something they gave out to their top tier uh, reps. Um, and it was literally nothing to do with the amount of sales or parties that you held and what have you. It was all about how many people you could recruit and then getting them to recruit people and then getting them to recruit people. And that's what pushes you up the ladder, not sales. Yeah, so it's about trying to get more people on the bottom rung of the ladder. Yeah. But that bottom rung of the ladder can't infinitely get bigger. No. And a lot of people, you know, sort of give up. But I think, I don't know, it's it's, oh, it's, it's, it's annoying to have that. But I think so, some, some loyal friends are like humier and do like an order or two. I've done that. But, I've been raped into that, yeah. But then once you're bathroom is full of the same stuff mm. and you're not really using it it's more than you can use and it's mm. potentially more expensive than the supermarket oh god it is definitely then at what point you know it, it's got to tail off hasn't it that income <clears throat> you can't expect yeah. to, to have 
the, the week's all just as busy forever. No, I mean, you could say that about any business, um, but I don't know. Yeah, certainly some people do better out of it than others. I mean, I know someone who's doing it um, still now, and she's been doing it for a couple of years, I think, and um, she must be doing all right out of it to still be doing it. But she's one of those people that knows everyone. (laughs) So, you know, she's probably got a lot of people to sell to, whereas if I tried starting it, I know about six people and it, you know... It, it just wouldn't work for me. I mean, that said, my my response now, um, because I now have my own website where I sell little handmade things that I make, um, if I get sent a price list or something out of the blue with no, hi, how are you? How are you doing? How's your life? How's your health? You know, what, what what's up with you? None of that. Just get sent a price list. I just send them the link to my website now. It's, it's no different as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So... That that's my comeback for that. I mean, at least as a website, you're kind of encouraging them to come and purchase through like a shop rather than yeah, rather than these dodgy like social media transactions where it's like, oh yeah, I'll give you the cash when I see you and whatnot. Yeah, and that would a, set a lot my of anxiety off. a lot of the time, the cash doesn't turn up. Oh yeah, I'll pay you back next week for it. I'm a bit short, mm. and I bet loads fall into that as well. Yeah, probably. Because they're, they're people you know, they're your friends, you don't think they're going to mess you about with money. But, oh my God, they will. Yeah. They will. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't like M- MLMs at no, all. No, I think they... I don't... And I just feel sorry for the people that, that get roped into it, that buy into it and think they're going to get rich off it or they're oh, yeah. even going to make a reasonable income because you've got to shift a lot you have and it's it's typically the most vulnerable people in society who are desperate to make a few quid at home um who get roped into this and they're the ones who lose out you know at the end of the day and it, it's sad really because they are preying on upon people's you know circumstances and the fact that they have to do this to try and bring in a bit of money to try and get by and yeah but there again you know they yeah they're the kind of people who who maybe don't have the ability to get to work easily because they might be might have like young kids or whatever and struggle to find something that fits them well yeah exactly i mean uh, but then I'm... but then when they ask you to sink some money into it to get started you know that's mm. to me is kind of eth- ethically wrong yeah i mean uh, my housemate few years well several years ago now actually but um his aunt was working for some i can't remember what it was called but it was um a, a mlm selling cleaning products and she was trying to recruit him she was actually telling him she was a horrible person i didn't like her um <laughs> but she was trying to get him to give up his day job that he'd had for many years to do this oh, wow. um and that you did have to pay you had to pay for the catalogs that you know and you had to pay for like a package so you could either buy you know a basic package of 50 or you could get 100 or you could get a thousand it was but it was it wasn't cheap either it was quite a lot and you know you had to rely on the fact that people were going to give you those catalogs back yeah and so you could reuse them but let's be honest people aren't necessarily you can't rely on people to do that most people are going to chuck them in the bin yeah Um, it's the same with these um, charity bags to put your old clothes and whatnot in yeah. I've got four by my front door that have come through in the last week. And yeah. I just end up using them as bin bags because I forget to put them back out on the day. So, <laughs> you know, these people are... The, these charities are shelling out for all these bags and mm. they're just not getting used for what they're meant to be. Yeah, true. But there again, you are posting them through people's doors without saying, have you actually got any clothes that you want to get shut off? Exactly. So you must expect to some degree that this is going to happen. You'd think so, I but do feel, but but there I again with the, with the brochures, the fact that people aren't returning them, and they've had to pay out their own pocket for them. Yeah, that's that's pretty. But stupid, what gets me it? is the likes of um, most of them. You can go on the website and buy it anyway, and get yeah. it delivered straight to your house and cut out the middle person. So I'm gonna really really pee off everyone who sells Body Shop right now, but if you type into Google, Body Shop discount code 
95% of the time you can get at least 30% off your order by just ordering it yourself to your house. If you spend over £25, I think it is, you get free delivery anyway, you, you're probably saving more than the 10% discount your rep can give you. And I'm really sorry to everyone who sells Body Shop, but it is a total swizz. You, there's always discount codes online. Sometimes you can get 40% off, depending on when it is. So, yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever paid. I, I don't really use Body Shop. It's That's true. So you don't, you don't actually need a, a local no. rep. No. Completely pointless. you got the internet. It was... you got the internet and you can get it a bit cheaper if you do it yourself. Here's one for you. You mentioned cleaning products to, before. Yeah. What is the deal? I don't know if this is just something that's going on in my part of the country or happens everywhere. Hmm. People raving about Spanish cleaning products. Oh, I've not heard of this one. Have you not had that? No. It's It must be some weird northwest kind of thing of of people wanting to get hold of spanish cleaning products because they think they're superior to british cleaning products really yeah is this sort of i wonder if it's born of something like um, mrs hinch or something because you know I, i'm in a couple of not cleaning groups because god i i have a life but <laughs> <laughs> but you know decorating groups because um, you know in 2020 when there was nothing else to do i got rid of all my furniture and bought new and yeah. you know it's all coordinated Ugh, i can't speak coordinated now and looks lovely um so i joined like a bunch of um mrs hinch decorating groups on yeah. facebook to get inspo um but a lot of those um mentioned cleaning products sometimes and there's just certain ones that people love like the pink stuff which i think you can get a bnm for a quid or something um but i've never heard of these spanish ones no oh okay because i mean the i had seen that there's a shop start opened up in the market um in where i live and the first thing someone put on their social media was have you got in spanish cleaning products wow for a market stall in a shopping centre. I've never heard of this. Yeah. It's so bizarre. It's a thing. It's very weird. I, now, though, you've piqued my interest. I'm going to look into this. You have a look and see if this is just something that is just something bizarre that happens up here or whether it is like a countrywide thing and maybe the UK has got a fetish for... If anyone Spanish listening cleaning products. has heard about these Spanish cleaning products and you're not, you know, from the north, let us know. Or even if you are from the north, let us know anyway. <laughs> because I've, I've not I've not heard of this at all. But I'm wondering if someone has and maybe I just don't move in the right circles. Maybe I'm just a grubby cow. <laughs> no, it's got, it must be a... I don't know. I, yeah, you're right. Is it is it that we just don't clean and we don't know or... Is it one of them things I'm where you try it and then there. you... I do clean, but I just clean the bathroom with bleach and, you know, I just go around with a, a duster and a bit of cheap polish. I, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know if we need fancy products. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they I, even are fancy. Well, they must be. They must do something. They must. They must be amazing because that seems like such a niche thing to what I want. Spanish cleaning products. That's... I don't know. Bizarre. You know what? I'm. If you can't find any evidence of it, I will find you evidence of it because I know I saw it and I know it's a thing. I I will absolutely look into it definitely later on. And if I'm, do you know? It, I'm sure it probably is a thing. And I do live under a bit of a rock. We know this. So, yeah. I'm I'm actually looking now. I'm determined <laughs> to find something, and there will be because. Uh, unless I've made it or I might have just dreamt it no I mean no. if you're having dreams like that you need to evaluate your life I think yeah so. I think so <laughs> dreaming, dreaming of cleaning yeah I'll note that down as a topic for future weeks odd dreams odd dreams well do you know what we've got a, we've got a gap in next week's agenda I think we, we have uh, although although it, we will just keep it empty for a second because in case anyone wants uh, a listener's topic. Okay, yeah, we're up for a listener's topic. So, you know, any any ideas or anything you want to hear us talk about, throw it in there and you might get it talked about next week. Maybe, maybe not. Depends how many people put their two pence worth in. But uh, yeah, let us know. 
Yeah. Sorry, I'm still, I'm distracted because I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the proof, and you know what, I can't even find it now, but I will have it for future discussions. That'd be great. Please do, because I'm actually really intrigued now, and I'm a sucker, and will probably buy Spanish cleaning products when you've found them. <laughs> you will buy, uh, I found it, I have found it. <gasps> you have? Yeah, uh, let's have a look. I'm going to send you a screenshot. Okay. Because there is one comment, two comments, three comments, four comments mentioning the word Spanish that are okay. just on my screen right now. So it's a thing. It is a thing. And if you don't not aware of the thing, then you're missing out on the thing. Okay. Obviously. Where are you sending this? Uh, I've sent it through the usual. There we What's go. That? Sent. What's crap? No, not what's crap. Well, you've sent it Google. Right here. Send it through Google. But I like what's crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. Let's have a little look. Let me have a little look. See. Um. Oh my God, you're right. A genius name for a market stall: the Mop Shop. The Mop Shop. Yeah, we like it. You're right, like everyone wanting the, the Spanish products, yeah. but they're not even really sort of saying specifically, they're just saying the Spanish products. Just the, yeah, no, no particular brand. It could be like Aldi's brand. As long as it's in Spanish and not in English, they'll have it. How weird. I My aunt and uncle live in Spain. I might ask if they know anything about it. Yeah, <laughs> do you clean with anything? Do you, do you clean, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if they've heard of, um, I don't know, any special products that uh, people over here are going crazy for, I don't know. Maybe people are stocking up whilst they're over there, I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You get stopped at uh, at customs. <laughs> Have you got anything to declare? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got... Bleach. Yeah. <laughs> I've got loads of loads of Spanish cleaning products. I'm going to have the, <laughs> the cleanest, most shampooed carpet <laughs> that you've ever seen. Oh, my God. Yeah, talk your way out of that one. They probably think you're doing something really dodgy with it, though, like injecting it or something. Don't, <laughs> don't you do that at home, by the way. <laughs> maybe don't secretly, do a Donald yeah, Trump on us. Yeah, maybe secretly that's what you can do with it. It gives you a really good buzz. Maybe that's why they're asking for it. Mm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to try it. Legal highs, there you go. That's a topic for one week, isn't it? Oh, don't know anything yeah. about it. We'd have to research. We would have to research because I don't know a lot about it, only that they're quite dangerous. Yeah, exactly. But yes. I'll write that down. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, because I keep thinking up topics and then I don't write them down and then they get forgotten. And then we just end up tagging them onto another topic that we do when it comes yeah. to mind. It's nice, though. We have got lots and lots of topics lined up as, as much as we do chop and change them around and sometimes we put them off for a while and insert new ones and stuff but we have got quite a few what did what did we just say i can't remember uh, <laughs> spanish to... cleaning products are they a thing oh legal highs legal highs there yeah. we go and so long as you've got oh, your right. weird dreams as well i've done the weird dreams one yeah Okay. You see, that's another thing to go into while we're on Spanish cleaning products. <laughs> Things, right? If you've been to Spain or Portugal, or whatever, crisps don't really come in flavors. They're just they're salted. Okay? They're no, they're not. They're just like we've got a million flavors of crisps. They don't do that. How interesting. Yeah. So there we go. Things that are different in other countries that you notice when you get there. That is really interesting. Um, I'm wondering if it's like that across Europe. Well, you know, if they... Um, yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, I've I think got, um, most European countries, they just go for, like, plain kind of crisps, like... That can't be right. They don't that have can't... loads of flavours. Yeah, they might have, like, cheese, and they might have, like, Cheetos. Yeah. But, like, just the standard crisps, your Lay's, which is Walker's in the rest yeah, of the Yeah, why did you just call it Lay's? That's really weird. Because it's called Lay's, in that's what Walker's is. I know it is, but why would you call it that? You're not you're not American. Yeah, because when you go abroad, that's what it is. It's Lay's. Oh, okay, I get you. So, is, is it Lay's in Europe then, is it? Yeah. 
So it's just us, just us. Just us. Call it Walkers. Because we did invent crisps. Of course. But do you not remember when Jif changed its name to Sif to match no. the rest of Europe? No. Sif used to be called Jif. <laughs> okay. But the rest of Europe was was Sif, and then they decided to make it easier. They change ours to being Sif as well instead of Jif. Probably Why just so they can like use the same packaging. This is a whole thing that has happened, like with lots and lots of things. Why do we insist on being different? I feel like there's lots of other things, and I can't think of a single one of them right now. Yeah, but you got to remember, like, Walkers, like they bought out what Smiths, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, and they still use that brand sometimes as well. You can get oh, okay. your, your Smiths. Uh, do they do the the bacon rashers? I think they do. But yeah, I mean, it's just based on old brands, isn't it? And we we're quite f- fond of brand loyalty, aren't we? We are. Uh, and we do like, you know, heritage brands. Yes, yeah, so nostalgic. Uh, there's things like I had the other day, chipsticks. Love them. They are trash, but I love them. I think they're and Smiths. Be... Are they Smiths? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Let's Google it. They are Smiths. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And I, I feel like maybe the, the salt and shake ones. Yeah, they're Smiths. Yeah. Oh, we love that, don't we? I mean, the salt and shake are pointless because you just put the salt on and they don't actually adhere to the crisp at all. No, but it's it's just part of the, the fun, isn't it? It's fun, isn't though. It? Yeah. <laughs> a flavourless crisp, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flavourless crisp. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> Sounds very European. <laughs> yeah. It does, where they don't bother with flavours. Yeah. So, fair dues. You know, whatever floats the boat. Um but yeah, that's, 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 that's not a thing. So when I go to Spain this summer, I'll take a picture of the crisp aisle. Yeah, please do. Just so that you can see, you know, that there isn't a million different flavours like there is here. Yeah, I'm going to ask my European friends. I've just made some new um, Romanian friends. Um, so I'm going to ask them. That's question of the day for Romania. What flavour crisps have you got? Yeah, what flavour crisps do you have at home? <laughs> Brilliant. That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have we got any other feedback to go through before we wrap it up for this week i don't actually think so i didn't write anything down because i'm rubbish oh, okay so we, <laughs> we need to get a bit better at l- um, making notes of the feedback we do i, I did say, quite I, well last I, week i say we it's, it's you it's me yeah, yes you're me. you're the expert at, at it all i just i just come here and talk to you but you say that i did i did remember listeners topic of the week and i i remembered to count the votes for who won meme of the week so i feel like i did fairly well yes you did give yourself a pat on the back there you go (laughs) so anyway this half hour episode has once again become 42 and a half minutes okay that's obviously our time slot now our natural (laughs) yeah yeah, we just keep talking until we give up um Yeah. yeah so we'll wrap it up there and we'll do it all again next week. Uh, but we, yeah, we love feedback. So, yeah, leave, anything. Leave send feedback. It to us. Yeah, no matter how how it sounds, preferably not pigeons again. But anything. You could even send us a really funny meme. We might read it out if, oh, if we think it's yes. funny enough. Yes, send us a meme. We love memes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, so that is it for us for this week. So please do give us your feedback and check us out next week. <laughs>